a Tasmanian program focused on consent and sexual assault prevention for high school students has local schools lining up to take part. The Sexual Assault Support Service, SAS, began developing the primary prevention program two years ago. SAS Chief Executive Jill Maxwell said a lack of information in schools around consent and sexual assault prevention prompted the move. She said statistics showed one in four girls and one in six boys experience some form of sexual abuse. It's really important for age-appropriate messages right through a person's life leading into adulthood to know how to keep themselves safe, how to keep their friends safe, she said. Bayview Secondary School on Hobart's Eastern Shore was the first to take part. Year 10 student Taylor Halbworth was one of the participants. We just learned about consent mainly and what consent is and how consent is just one thing, like it can be your consent is your consent, like no one else can tell you what that is, it's just a personal preference and what you feel comfortable with. The program covers other topics including pornography, intimacy, online behavior, appropriate language and where to seek help. I think it is important to know that support services like that are out there because you know you can just even if it's not for yourself, you can refer a friend, Ms. Halbworth said. Ms. Maxwell said it was important teenagers had access to reliable information. The feedback we're getting directly from students says that nobody, no adult talks to them about what consent is, how actually to give it or say no and the difference between the information they are accessing around pornography as opposed to an intimate relationship, she said. Bayview secondary teacher Tom Robinson said the way the program was presented was age-appropriate. It's just a great way to open up a bit of dialogue around what is a really serious topic. Year 9 student Talia Matthews said the lessons she learned had stuck with her. Bayview principal Jill Berrimer said she had noticed a change in student behavior. Certainly with issues of just inappropriate language we Eve certainly noticed a shift in making sure that students, or sort of held more accountable with each other and so that's been a really positive shift certainly in the playground, she said. Wednesday love to bring the presenters in at least once a year to talk with each new year group and also to do follow-up work. The program received $400,000 in state government funding to run until 2020 and includes workshops for parents and teachers. We deliver an introductory program to parents talking to them about what we're going to be talking to their kids about but also in how to continue conversations around consent in the home environment, Ms. Maxwell said. She said other schools which had taken part included Hyoville High, Hobart College, Rose Bay High, and Mountain Heights in Queenstown. Next year the program will be run at Tribe Your District School, Montrose Bay High and Claremont College.